magic. Magic was in the beginning and was the beginning. From the shaman to the Shung Fui Nan, from the witch doctor to the legend makers, magic and myth have a common language. The true magician talks with true magicians across time and across space. When men first began to try to understand their dark and flickering world, they listened to the wise men. And men began to understand, and their dark world began to be light. This true story of all magic has been spun by the myth makers since time began. And always the story of the sword of power lies at their heart. Every age, the forces of evil gather. Every age, they have been held back by a girl. This girl, Crystal of the Lake, Merlin's daughter. The only shield between ordinary mortals and the everlasting hell offered by Pendragon is a girl, the spirit of the sword, the shield of the world. And her only shield through the ages John Pope, and I, Lung Tao, am her guardian. Out of fire it came. Beltane the smith forged it. Thor. God of war, breathe upon it. I, Merlin, tempered it, harnessed the power in the sword, the power to rule the world. Many desire it, evil demands it. Searches through time for the resting place of the sword. Dragon, not your hand. In the name that is all pure and good, you shall never possess the sword, Pendragon. Take the sword, John Pope. Right. It belongs to you. With it, you will protect Crystal of the Lake. Remember, you must forever guard it from Pendragon. Take the sword.
possible. Oh, my God. Professor Mycroft. Sir, you must come quickly, please. I have just seen something no man has seen before. Sir, are you listening to me? Haste is the enemy of knowledge, Mr. Dobson. You know, I've been trying to inculcate in you the habit of calm reflection. Calm reflection, sir, after what I've just seen through the telescope. Oh, stop babbling, boy. I swear to you, sir, there are comets stopping in mid-transit. The moons of Saturn have stopped turning. I swear I just saw it. Do you know, if I didn't know that you were a teetotaler, I'd have thought you'd been at the port wine, sir. There must be some malfunction with the telescope. There is a rational explanation for everything. Please, Professor, let us look. <sighs> look. Look, sir, through the telescope. Right. Now we shall see. Impossible. My dear boy, I owe you an apology. Please accept. What's happening, Professor Mycroft? This wonderful clock that's called the universe. It's slowly and surely grinding to a halt. It's October the 32nd. What are you talking about? There's no such day, Professor. October the 32nd. The day when time stands still. Time is standing still. You have seen the beginning of chaos, my boy. Chaos! Come on, guys, let's go get him. Come on, bring a rope. Come on, let's get in there. Hey, Willie, rope, rope, bring a rope. What's going on? It's that woman from the mine, Miss Lake. She's in trouble. Come on, she's across the street. Let's drag her out. Come on, come on. Let's get up.
keep down! You know what time it is, Chrissy? Yes, I know, John. You've got to stop them. We must protect the sword. It's over, John Pope. Finished. You know it's over. Without the power of the sword, you're just another mortal in my way. Go to hell, Pendragon! Just stood still. Again? It's worse this time. Small town Wild West stuff. Man who walks through bullets. It's craziness. It's been going on far too long, Christy. Look, I'm not going to a shrink. I'm fine, really. It's just a bit vivid this time, that's all. Christy, you need a break, a vacation or something. Hey, Chris, I've got something for you. You look terrible. Oh, thanks. She needs a break, Harry. Yeah, agreed. That's a good idea. Here it is. Town called Lansdowne. Hicktown, mining, you know, up in the hills, mountain air, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> See, there's some fuss up there over reopening an old gold mine. Uh, ecological slant, maybe, you know? Local interest against big business. What was it called? Lansdowne, right here. Some guy's making waves. The locals are divided. That's a good story. I want you to get up there. You might get a good piece in the woman's page for <laughs> Halloween. Very funny. Look, Harry, really, I've got a lot on right now. Just give it to somebody else. Hey, it's as good as a rescuer. Think of it as a vacation, okay? You'll love it.
not be alarmed. I was only doing my morning exercises. Is your headache gone? Yes, but I... I know you. I'm sure we've met before. Many pretty girls say that to me. Have you got any idea who's involved here? There is a businessman working with another businessman. Please, give me a ride to town. Oh, yeah, sure. Businessmen have strange ways. I'm afraid ancient Chinese does not always understand them. I know this place. This was in my dream. I know this place. There's a hotel up there. And an assay office down there. Your name... Your name is Long Tao, isn't it? Please, stop there. Thank you for the ride. It's been a pleasure. Oh, miss, uh, I grow forgetful getting too old. Uh, dangerous for a reporter to ask too many questions in town. <laughs> Don't worry. I suppose your name's John. Yeah, how did you know? Lucky guess. Oh, your name is? Chris. Christy Lake, hi. Hi, pleased to meet you. Yeah. It's uh, a pretty name. See you around. It's probably very likely. I do need a shrink. That geologist man come down from the state. He says it's dangerous, and I say it's wrong. Now, miss. Express? To the editor of the Monitor. Uh-huh. Is there a problem? Journalist? Yes. People up here don't like journalists. Are you going to send that or not? My advice? Blow away. So you're not sending it? You're quick. Well, you've certainly confirmed something for me. Yeah? There is a story here. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Bad mood, dear. I'll let your office know you're here. Lunch I'm okay? Yeah, thanks. Fine. Now, as I was telling you, the whole town knows about <laughs> Mr. Pendragon, sir, I've got some bad news. A journalist. And you told her, you fool, after I warned everyone? All right. Find out what her name is and what she's doing here. Then get back to me. Come it. Well, I guess the best laid plans of mice and men, huh? What happened? About that meeting today. Take care of that, that state expert and that nosy broad. All right. Hey, All right, 
Come on, let's get this thing going now. Come on now, fellas, give the man a chance. Come on now. You'd be ashamed, all of you. What you? You, Billy Underwood, and you too, Jack Peterson. And you wipe that smile off your face, John Nixon. Shameful. I'd like to ask Mr. Pope what he sees as the main danger here. Hey, Mr. Mayor. This is a meeting for Lansdowne residents, not outsiders, no matter how pretty they may be. I thought this was an open meeting. The fact is that this area is subject to underground shifting. Shifting? Oh, hold it down, fellas. Hold it down. You can hide the facts all you want. Asking men to go into this mine is asking them to commit suicide, and for what? The damn gold, what else? That's yeah. right, the gold, the gold! Yeah. There is nothing worth taking in this old digging. Worse, the, the damage could be potentially enormous. Hey, Pope, you can go back where you come from. Right. Right. Shove your right. geological shit where they like it. We don't need it. Girl, yeah. Yeah. there's only two ways out of land down. Over the bridge or under it. Your choice. L leave Miss Lake alone. There's no need to hassle a lady. Kiss my ass, Pope. Yeah. Mr. Mayor, the meeting is over. Bang your gavel. <laughs> this here meeting's closed. Well, John, not very good, was it? Oh, I see. Batman and Batman, huh? Rednecks. Tell you what, I can only spell out the dangers, so I can do. Have you ever considered that all through these years, you've never been able to kill Long Tao, nor are you? Have you ever considered that down through the ages, I've enjoyed tormenting you through your loved ones? Go ahead and cut me. <coughs> You'll never hurt me again. You've taken everything away from me. You've taken my wife, son, and daughter. All exposed to your evil, all sacrifice to my purpose here. Gone and dead because I'm tied with this wheel. My fate. Oh. You sentimental old man. <laughs> yes. And those other fools. Pope and the lady. You think you could protect them? Guide them to my sword? You're going to lose the final battle, Long Tao. Like you lost your wife and family. Do you know what she said to me? Before I silenced her. She Cut. cried for you. And then died. God damn you, devil. I'll find a way to get even with you. I'll destroy you, man dragon. They'll protect her. Like you failed to protect them. Do your belt up, Christy. Oh. Oh, hell. I never liked that man Fandersman since he came to town. Lansdown was a nice place. As quiet as mice. I liked it plenty. Now, well... <laughs> Come on! I like it. We'll work down one side of the street. Come on, Billy. 
said, pretty kid, once. In the annex? I'll just check. Suit yourself. What does he expect? A miracle? He's always the same, an asshole. Lansdowne Medical Center, how can I help you? What the hell do you think you're doing? Healing the girl? She was dead on arrival. You're messing with a dead body. I assure you, Doctor, I am not messing with a dead body. This girl is dead. Nothing functioning. <laughs> Mumbo jumbo. How many years of medicine have you had, Doctor? I've had 500. Leave her alone. In a moment, you can check her with your mumbo jumbo. In the meantime, relax, Doctor. And watch. You learn something! If you don't stop this right now, I'm gonna call an attendant. And I mean now! Now, try your mumbo jumbo, Doctor. Just stay here a minute. Ah, no. Just who the hell? Dead, Mr. Pendragon, sir. On arrival. Oh. Oh, my God. She was so young. Dead? Reckless driving, they said. I want the paramedic team that brought in that girl. What's wrong? Wrong? <laughs> Nothing except uh, an old Chinese guy snuck in there, and now she's alive and kicking. <sighs> I wonder how they'll explain that. Oh, I'll try to find out. Long time. You foolish and stubborn old. Did I hit that boy? No one was hit. You were very lucky. 
It seems like you've made a remarkable recovery, Miss... Uh... Lake. Christy Lake. God, I feel... It's incredible, isn't it? Quite a shock, Doctor. Quite a shock. No! You just don't understand now, do you, Crystal? No! Red Dragon! No! Christy, get out! You didn't. You just stopped them momentarily. Shoot up the tires. Hold on now. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Right back there. What's the road? What road? talking to me about duty and fate. I nearly got killed by an absolute stranger. Search in your mind for the truth. Was he really a stranger? All right, he looked like the man in my dream, but that doesn't make him real. Level with this man. You got any idea what she's been through? I don't even know who you are. Long Tao is my name, John Pope. And I am here because it is my destiny and my fate as you are here because it is yours. Have you never questioned why? Why here, why now? Why him and why her? I've been asking since this started. You just never give a straight answer. Why would Pendragon try to kill me? Many, many years ago, a great magician fashioned a sword. 
Whoever owns the sword inherits power. The power is from Merlin and the ancient gods. He could cast the earth into a timeless silence and the heartbeat of the world would end. Okay, okay. Now who really is Pendragon, huh? Christy knows. And only she can stop him. It's crap. John, stop the car and just take us home. How I wish you were born with the memory of all those battles you have fought before. Age by age, century by century. Now that the time, the time is here again, I want you to look. Your beautiful earth, a new day dawns in fire and light, and tomorrow the world may stop. Don't you see, you are brought here because Pendragon is coming closer to finding that sword, the sword of power, and if he finds it, time will end and the earth will stand still, and that is the end of man. He really believes his stuff. He's getting to you, isn't he? I was perfectly happy. And now I'm just scared. Christy, I too am afraid. More afraid than ever before. But you, you, you are the shield of the earth. It is your fate. Can't you accept that? I won't. I can't. And you two leave me no choice but to refresh your memory. <laughs>
Leave her! You fool. greatest weapon. It is the ultimate shield. Now, John Pope, we must protect her, make her safe from Pendragon. John. Black Eagle is the guardian of all this land. He is one of my last true brethren. Welcome. Pleased to meet you. Friends of Lung Tao are friends of Black Eagle, too. Thank you. We must leave now. You will be safe here. My home is your home. Jason. that John and I must do. No, this is yours. It is the dragon head. 
This is your shield. It focuses all power, but to use it wrongly means death. Take it with love. It's beautiful, but... Yes. With it, you can hold off evil for a while. Use it with care, because it will reveal you to an enemy. Come, John. No, I want to come with you. Stay here, Christy. It is safer. John, we must find a source of that power. Can't help you, Lung Tao. Don't have my equipment. Leave it. Get your goddamn hands off that. Screw you, asshole. Suit yourself. <laughs> I tried to tell him. Would anybody else like to try? Son of Mordred, the time has come. I give you the third part of power. With this dagger, and the sword of power, and the shield, you will be almighty. Must never be sheathed without drawing human blood. Remember! No. Not your own father!
Get him back to work. Right, boss. If we can focus on the power, we can find the sword. But if Pendragon finds it before us, <laughs> much yet a bile, huh? I understand, Lundell. I can... You know, I, I can feel this, this power you're talking about, but... Don't fight it. Don't fight it. <laughs> oh. For Christ's sakes, you know? I'm not a warrior, I'm a, I'm a scientist. <laughs> Science once said that a bumblebee could not fly. <laughs> Come, hurry. Lined up yet, John. We have little time. What was that last reading? 75, 17. Okay. John, watch out! Oh my God. It's in the mountain there. Yes. Yes. We found it. Now, let's get back to Christy. That thunder. She used a dragon pendant. Now Pen Dragon will find her for sure. Now, let's hurry uh, and say a prayer. Where are the rest of the boys? Right here, boss. Shh. 
Don't shoot. We want her alive. Get her, boys! Cut her off, but no rough stuff. Save her for me. You hear? I hear you, boss. you whoever's there I got a rifle and I won prizes so step up like a woman or go to hell Mrs. Parkins don't shoot you'll get up in the light where I can be sure you're who I think get inside the whole town's out after you Yeah, we're going good, boss. Is it right you're going to open up the big cavern? You got a problem with that? A <clears throat> few of the boys don't much like the idea. You know, it was never a lucky mine. And now you want to open up the old workings. I say we go around them. I say we go in there. We go in there. again now, didn't you, my friend? You can't blame me. I'll get her, damn it. I'll get her. Something? You're right. What do we have? Nothing. It's for nothing, Van Dismin. You will find the girl. Or you will die. Before tomorrow night, I want her. And 
don't bleed all over the desk. Get out. It's too dangerous for them to be watching his place now. Uh, Christy, we've got to take a chance. John has to get the maps. It's archive stuff. All the old work is marked. If there's a back way in, I'll show it. Come on, John, you've got to go. Hey, wait. John. Um, look, I know you don't really need me to tell you to be careful. But with everything that's going on, Careful anyway, okay? <laughs> This is the oldest map of the area in the state archives. Here's the main entrance, and I've marked the oldest diggings right here. Okay, same map 40 years later. It's much bigger now, see? This map was drawn in 1892. John? Hmm? Jeez. What the? That's it. That's the entrance to the cavern. It's found the exact place. It's put a hole here. The cliffs. Yeah, yeah, it's marked. It's a cave. 
old Indian burial ground. Of course. Now get your things. We must go. You've used the power, and now Pendragon can find you again. Hurry! yours. Mine? Put it on. John. Go ahead. Beautiful. get it right. I want the girl alive. The rest, kill. Unless, my lord, unless the sword is in danger, unless it is found by the son of evil and used by him, and I fear that I can no longer protect the sword and Christie. I am growing old and weak, my lord. Old? I am Merlin. Older than time. Older than stars. I know old. You, Lung Tao, are only weary. After this, you may rest a little. Yes, my lord. Thank you. Come closer. Not you, John. Warrior though you are, come closer. You are like your mother, child. You knew my mother? Yes. Come closer. No harm. I see you have the dragon head. It's very beautiful. Long Tao gave it to me. I made it. I made you too. You are lovely as I expected. And you are afraid. 
there's so much I don't understand. I know I'm in danger. People tell me I have powers I don't know anything about. But I do know the sword in Pendragon's hands means an end to everything. Yes, I am afraid. Why me? It was foretold that the Earth would be under threat from evil powers. Man would ignore them, and they would grow stronger age by age. And October the 31st becomes time that does not exist. And October the 32nd will be everlasting night. And that is why I am here. You'll need me, Christy. I know what she needs, Lung Tao. Be still. Yes, sire. Gong Ying the Yang. Okay, boys, it's time to kick ass. No man wishes to know his end. Every man desires to know it. For some, to look into the crystal is to see wonders. Uh, do not look, child. It sees the past for those with a desire to see. It sees death for those who take it and are not worthy. What it sees, it delivers, my child. Give it to one who would take it by force, and it is powerful indeed. If you have need in this final battle, you may call me once only. Then it will return, my child. Long Tao, there is little time. Protect her. Yes, sir.
now dust. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, where the hell have you been? begin. It's about time. What do you know about time, Ventusman? Stay if you wish. You might learn something. Watch. Pendragon has used the key. Your pendant to take us into October 32nd. We have only until midnight to stop him. If he finds that sort of power, we are doomed. We have the pendant. And she is powerless. And when we meet again, as surely we shall, I will take all the time in the world with her. Om Omni Omni It's beautiful here. Yes. I come here often to pray. Pendragon. 
Lung Tao, look! What's he doing? succeeds in making his ancient home appear, he will be invulnerable. There is only one way to stop him. I must take away all protection. No, Lung Tao, you can't. Leave myself without a shield from death. Christy, I fear not death if this life ends for me. It has been a long journey. Listen, Christy. When the sun goes, the final battle begins. You must find your sword for the warrior, John. Without it. Black Eagle sent this. He said he prays for you. He said you would know what to do. Spirit, if you say he will live, he will live. You know what's really frustrating in all this? I have story of a lifetime and no way to tell it. <laughs> I do believe in what Long Tao has said, though. I feel it, you know? Right, this... <sighs> oh, 
power inside of me. I do feel it. Yeah. And it's getting stronger. Well, my friend, what took you so long? <laughs> I have seen peace. My journey to Samara seems like an eternity. And now, I will live in regions owned by no man. He's the river, he's the mountains. The pen didn't burn a hole here. It is forbidden. It's a cave, it's, a, it's the only way in. Who forbids it? Our spirits forbid it. Our ancestors forbid it. Our customs forbid it. No white man, no woman, only the medicine man and the dead. What did Lung Tao say to you before he died? Oh, he trusted us. Please, you must trust us too. We must wait for a sign. Black Eagle, I know some of your beliefs. I respect them. But if Pendragon gets here before we do, there will be no resting place for your ancestors. There will be nothing, nothing but darkness. We must wait for a sign. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. say nothing they said go they said wait 
There's no time to wait, Blackie, but we must ask again. Long Tao. Listen. Dogs. Hunting dogs. I have a better plate. What's the plan? The boy will slow them down. Go. Oh. Hurry, hurry. Cave I told you about. Probably the first one that's ever been in here. I'm honored. Watch your step. Stay still. Don't move. Black in the past. Oh God. You going down there? What's the matter? Afraid of the dark? I'll catch up. I hate caves. Hey, Come on. Like you, what is that noise? My grandfather, Red Hawk, told me a story one day. He said, the earth spins with the sun because it is driven like a huge clock. But the power for this makes the seasons change, makes life itself possible. He said to bury deep, deep inside these mountains lies that power. You believe that? What took you so long? Those bastards are here. Come on. Wait, wait. Black Eagle, which way? We go right. Hurry, hurry! Ow! Come on, move it! 
find another way. There is no other way. I'll hold back. Go, 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 go! Footprints, this way. Go! Get out of there! They're coming! Go! Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of Yeah, that's it. We had enough. Yeah. We quit. Yeah, we're in Hey, pal. Keep moving. Wow. It's just so hard. It'll kill your whole family. Boys, come here, help me! Come on! Hey, hey. Yeah, hey, Charlie. Hey, my old buddy, I won't forget you. Here, take this. It's pretty dark in here. Good night. Hey, get your... Come here! Damn it, get back here. What a pleasure to have to kill you, Pope. Again. Ah! <laughs> 
you're going to rot here, John. I don't think so. You don't like the dark, do you, John? Christine! John, I'm here! You're gonna lose the sword. Beg for mercy. Then I'm gonna kill you. Spiders and worms are gonna eat your putrefied flesh. And for you, Crystal, a shroud of leeches. Just keep down! Keep still! <laughs> It's all over, Christy. I have the power. I'll see you in hell, Man Dragon. Merlin! Father! Merlin! Calling Merlin. Help, he's dead. His bone was blown to dust a thousand years ago. You don't believe he'll appear from the other side of the wind. Pen Dragon! Father Killer! You will not touch what you want most. I, Merlin, am more than dust. I, Merlin, shall not forget what I made. The sword of power will not be corrupted by you or yours. You are condemned to wander the universe forever. You are condemned to fail forever. The power of opinion is not endless. It is not boundless. It wavers when she doubts. And she will doubt her sanity. 
I shall conjure such horrors in her mind. Take the crystal, my daughter. Take it. This crystal. My father. Down through time it has come, Pendragon. Made on the roof of the world from snow and ice, from sand and earth, from air and fire, made from water. And in that crystal, I see the fate of the world. Give it to me. Give it to me, Christy. I'll let you free. No. Then I'll take it. Hold him, Christy. Look into the crystal. See what you see. Give it to him, Christy. Give it to him. Give it to me. Never, I'll smash it first. Pendragon, look in the crystal, see the fate of the world, your world. No. Can't escape your fate. I shall return. And then your time will come. I shall crush the earth under my feet. And it shall be consumed in fire and ice. Thank you.
downtown.